Hey guys, we are the Bolding Gamers. Hello! And today we are joined by Liam for one of our Should You Play episodes of Phasmophobia. Yes. Yeah. Scary game. Very scary game. So if you're not too sure what Phasmophobia is, basically it's a four player co op slash end up betraying ghost. someone because you lock them in the house to get killed by a ghost. I mean, that's not part of the game. You're not meant to betray them. You know, if you play with people that like you, you don't get betrayed. So I've been betrayed every single time I play it, yeah. as you can imagine. And basically, you're ghost hunters, investigators. Yeah, ghost hunters. Yeah, and you get all your kit and you go in. And it's an early access game at the moment, developed by just one guy. I mean, that by itself makes the game outstanding. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To an extent. Yeah. When you measure it in those terms, it's <laughs> yeah. absolutely crazy. So, you know, obviously we're going to go through things that we liked about or disliked and answering the question, should you should play Should you play it? it? <laughs> should you play it? Come on. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to do that. You do it the other Okay. Way. Yeah. Right. Should you play it? Stop saying should you play it. Should you play it? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, things we liked about it, it, when you first start playing it, it's really scary because you have literally yeah. no idea what is going on. It's really it, creepy. Really yeah. Creepy. But it's not jump scares, it's not scripted. Basically, you go into a house or a building and you've got a set of tasks, so you've got the name of the ghost, and you've got to try and find out where they are, and then they start hunting you. And I mean, what's important is you play with headphones on as well, so, mm -hmm. and it's got like 3D surround sound. So when the, is that correct? Yeah. I think 3D surround sound. So when you're walking, you can sometimes hear the ghost breathe and it walks through you and oh, gives you chills. Mm. Probably and gives you chills. Some of this really unique about this game is there's two ways of communication. So you can talk normally to your friends and People fellow ghost by. hunters and it uses like a proximity. Um, and then you have a radio, but you've got to bear in mind that as you're talking, the ghost can also hear you as well. So <clears throat> it can get quite creepy at times where suddenly the ghost is hunting you, your radio can get cut off by them and you just can't communicate with the rest of your team. And you, but yeah, yeah then it's huddled creepy. in a corner, turning your flashlight off, and not being able to see anything. And some of the scares that come from that when it gets you and when you just suddenly see the ghost is there. Yeah, we, we've squealed, squealed a few times. <laughs> yeah, it's been quite a few squeals. So, some of the ghosts hunt you, some of them don't hunt mm -hmm. you. Um, and you have an insanity meter as well. So yep. the longer you're in a dark place, in the game, not mentally, um, <laughs> the more the ghost like, attacks you, and that's when that's when it comes to its own. Mm, yeah, definitely, and like I said, when you first start out, you just you just get killed over and over, yeah. we had no idea that you were going to be like hiding and shutting or, or up. quiet, and... like, the ghost will hunt and we'll squeal and run, and then it'll just hunt you, whereas now now we've been playing, you know, mm. you might be quiet and hide, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah exactly, it, and like I said, it can be really tense when like the four of you are hiding in different places in the room, you don't have your torch on, and then someone will accidentally make a noise, and then they're suddenly gone, and you don't know they're dead. No, uh, you only you, you see their corpse. You usually <laughs> laugh at a corpse because it's in a funny position. Yeah, and then that, then we just usually run and hide. Yeah, and or leave. we just give up because yeah, we're just scared. And legitimately, one of the guys that we play with, we have to make sure that he stays with us because he will always run off and hide in the van. Yeah. and look on the cameras every time. Every single time, if you just turn your back on him, he goes and hides because he. Uh, it legitimately is that scared yeah. of the game which is crazy yeah, it is crazy but it, I mean it is scary um, until you learn it once you learn it it's more it's still quite scary like mm -hmm. once you learn it you're playing you're going along and you're like I'm not scared of this I'm not scared of this then it whispers at your ear you're like oh, hmm. oh, I need to go I need to run and then once the ghost is hunting you so usually you can go back to your like your surveillance fan yep. check your sanity meters see if you can pick up any more items and whatnot but then once the ghost is hunting you it locks the door, and that's... <laughs> and it goes closed. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I think that was me. And then, I forgot what I was saying. And then the ghost gets you. Yeah, yeah, he just, you end up like running to the exit, trying the door, and it's locked, and you just know you're doomed at that yeah. stage. But I think some of its strengths are also some of its weaknesses, so it's a very dark game, is in the fact that you have your torch, and you've got different types of torches you can use, and it makes it quite hard to navigate, and you can turn the lights on, you can turn them off to make sure they don't trip the power and stuff. But a lot of the time, it is just so dark that you literally yeah, can't see it's anything. Um, you've, you've, there's a permanent torch which is always on, mm -hmm. but all you can do is walk to a wall, yeah. and you can see that wall. Mm -hmm. um, if your torch starts flickering when the ghost hunts you, that's it, you just need to like crouch and hide because you won't find your way anywhere. Yeah, and some of the level design, again, they've just, some of them are just basic houses, which is quite fun because it's relatively small and compact, yeah. and then you have like the asylum and the old high school. and The high school. They're, they're really good fun, 
but sometimes they're just so boring. There's been yeah. times where you just walk around, and especially when you start off, you can't choose the difficulty when you start. You have to hit like level 10 to be able to move on to the next layer of difficulty. And when you start off, you've got so much time before the ghost starts hunting you that you just kind of walk around yeah. bored for a long time. And another thing, which I think is quite good, but it is negative, mm -hmm. is your character is so slow. So slow. Oh god, yes. So it's Unless kind you of... crouch and then you seem to sprint a little bit. Yeah, which is weird. Uh, <laughs> even though you're not quicker, like we've raced, you're not actually any quicker. Oh, psychological. Yeah, but um, mm. yeah, so you're so slow, and then when you're exploring these massive buildings, you're just slower than a walk, I would say. Yeah, it's really. Uh, and it I get it. drags a bit. Yeah, they don't want you sprinting around everywhere, but it would be better if there were different skills. Like if you sprint, you make a lot more noise, yeah. therefore the ghost is going to hear you, like Alien Isolation, for example. And that's another thing is, it doesn't use jump scares, but I wish there were more animations. Yeah. Like when the ghost gets you, I wish it was more suddenly in your face, loud, because that would absolutely make you poo your pants. I mean, I find when the ghost gets you, it's, it's not boring. scary. Yeah. It's scarier getting hunted than it mm -hmm. is getting got. Yeah, absolutely. When it's chasing you and when it's nearby, it's really freaky and eerie, but when the ghost gets you, she's like, ah, okay, I'm dead. Fine, yeah. whatever. And then you just... Once you are dead, mm -hmm. you're 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 a ghost. You can't attack anyone, but you can follow people. You can hear them, mm -hmm. but it, it's pretty dull because you can't do anything yeah, yeah, yeah. unless it's been updated. It, no, no. Not so you're literally way. just walking around. You can't talk to mm -hmm. your to your team, and then that's that. You're just waiting for it to end. So which can take 15, 20 minutes of yeah, nothing exactly. And like I said, it is an early access game, so there's loads of things that could yeah. potentially be added to the game. They'll be ironed out, and hopefully these are just bugs. So you know, we are reviewing it from that perspective. It's an early access game developed by one guy as well, so that's really impressive. Super impressive. But yeah. another thing, just to kind of touch on, is if you're going into this for the virtual reality experience, if you're using Oculus, it doesn't really work. So <laughs> I tried it, and I almost threw up. Not because of fear, but because my head, it was just spinning around everywhere, and there is, there is like a bit of a known bug where. Oculus headsets just don't work with it. But I think it'll be interesting once it is done with Oculus because then that that scare factor will just absolutely go just crazy. Yeah. So yeah, interested to see how that turns out. So I guess in summary, should you play it? I yeah. would say yeah. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, even if you just play, if you've got a group of friends that, you know, it's about 11 99 at the moment, a group of friends just playing it, it is really good fun. We've had yeah. a, a good few hours. We've played on it for a couple of weeks and it does get scary, and like we said, legitimately, one of the guys that we play with just hides in the van all the time because it gets that scary, he just has to leave. And there's been a few times where... It, yeah, prop, genuinely very scary. Like, mm. And there's times <clears throat> when we're playing like where I don't, I don't want to explore, and I'm very brave. He's not. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely it, worth playing. Yeah, I the would eeriness say, builds up and yeah. it just makes you go, oof, don't want to be in here anymore. Exactly. I would say now, though, we've, we don't play anymore. No, I, I think I we've think exhausted it's, uh, the yeah. game uh, as it is. Mm -hmm. It's a good, fun experience, and as long as you approach it knowing that there are bugs, there are frustrations with it, it's it's a fun experience, but it doesn't have longevity, no. in my opinion. It's not a game that you're going to want to go back to loads and replay it, but it's a good game if you've got a group of friends who like to do some co-op gaming every so often. It's a good game just to have to go back to every so often and play. And it's a good, very different style of game. It's, you're not, mm -hmm. like, it's not yeah. shooting, it's not adventure, it's like yeah. proper... You're hunting. It's like an almost detective game. Yeah, definitely. Anyway. And I think, to be honest, the future of Phasmophobia is a larger studio will do it better yeah. and more polished. And Phasmophobia will be the thing that kind of launched that. And I guess like Daisy. Daisy who? <laughs> Day Z. So I guess like Day Z, the. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess like DayZ kind of launched it, that whole thing. It was an unpolished experience that's now become every single mm. game that gets launched and that survival <clears throat> battle royale type thing. So, yeah, be interested to see what happens, if the developer can do more with it and what comes in the future. If another studio does something different instead. But yeah, worth our trying. I'd say for that price, if you've got a group of friends who like to get scared, yeah, give it a go. 100%. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. If you have, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button because we will be doing more Should You Play videos in the future as well. Yes. So in the meantime, stay safe and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.